Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Noah. That was totally English. What's up? How you doing? What's going on? As for me, um, it was my three months left yesterday, so it was January 13th. Um, so pretty much I'm going to talk through all the changes in three months. Um, also, as a side note, one, this light is bright. It's only this big, but it's bright. Um, so I'm going to be making my my updates from this point forward every three months. So there's going to be one, three, six, nine, and then a twelve. And I'll do voice things every now and then, and I'll post them when there's like a big change or whatever. Um, aside from that, um, as for the rest of the channel, there's obviously creative stuff and things along that line. Those will come up every now and then. I make absolutely no guarantees as to when they're up. I want to say that I would post weekly, but the chances about me actually being able to post weekly are pretty slim. So obviously this is my boys, uh, three months on T. Um, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up, which is ironic because my dot point list is the opposite. So, okay. We're going to start with music. Okay, so basically, we're gonna just start this. So leg hair, um, here's my legs. Legs, legs, legs. Not flexible. Um, yeah, I stopped shaving my leg hair in high school, so three years ago, but I was really self-conscious in the summer, so I would shave it in the summer. And then I think last summer was the first summer that I didn't and I was like still super self-conscious because I didn't feel like it looked like everybody else's. And I know I don't, I shouldn't compare myself to other people, but I still did. And I felt super weird about it because like there's patches like here-ish that have nothing. And I felt like the back didn't have anything. So since going on T, it's <laughs> filled out. I feel like on the sides where it wasn't before, if you, you know, I'm touching my inner calf. Um, it's definitely filled out there and on the back and it's more curly that's so weird to say but it is it's more curly um my thighs have always been really hairy i'm not about to like bust out my thighs right now but my thighs have always been pretty hairy but like it's been blonde hair which is super weird because this is dark but then again this is dark but there's also blonde hairs in here my thighs have definitely gotten a little bit more hairy or a little more noticeable i guess is the better word for it um moving up Happy trail. Like, I've always had a bit of a happy trail, but it's been, like, blondish hair. And I don't freaking have one. And I'll even show you. Because I'm disappointed that there's no freaking happy trail. Okay, that's, my tummy's a little, a little hairy. But, like, there's only a little bit. I just had to buy a whole bunch of new pants. Um, I finally have a bunch of jeans that I really like, though, at least. Like, luckily. And I finally freaking bought sweatpants. Like, yes. Shoulders. I had really, really broad shoulders before, but now they're like, they're hella. They're getting broader, clearly, since I went up a size in pretty much everything. Like my shirts, I realized that the small shirts really weren't fitting anymore, so now I'm pushing mediums. I wear mostly medium t-shirts. Unless they run a little small, then I get large. And if it's like a shirt like this, where it's a button up, I need a large. I tried on one of my shirts that I actually bought over the summer. And it was a small dress shirt and I tried to put it on um, before Christmas and it did not fit me at all like it was so tight and I, it literally looked like one of those like 12 year old boys trying to go to their little choir concert and they're squeezing into like two years ago's um, outfit because they don't want to buy a new one and it's what it looked like it was a disaster essentially essential disaster um, so yeah, they have definitely changed. Hold on. I have to unbutton it, don't I? Yeah, I'm not buttoning right now. I don't care. Yeah. Come on. Don't make me completely unbutton. There's so many easier ways to do this. Okay. Just for my free arm. Blech. I've definitely noticed, like, the here, the muscle up here has changed, or the muscles here have changed. Uh, you can actually see a little bit when I try. 
yeah so muscles are a thing that are coming more easily and again i haven't gone to the gym in since october i don't think yeah since october it's been since october since i last worked out in a gym so that's my muscle not working out i guess this is essentially what i'm, what I'm saying um facial hair okay this is a fun one this is a fun one i've been waiting for this one um i have to shave like every week i've hit that point where i need to shave every single week um i can already feel it coming in again i literally shaved three days ago i had stubble now it's not stubble now it's longer i was pretty hairy pre t like i always had like that like pet mustache that everybody talks about i think it's stupid that it's called that um, so I always had, like, that stupid shadowy mustache, um, even before, and I got, um, hair removal treatment, like, three times for it. Um, once was actually, like, a year ago, but it really didn't, it wasn't really that effective for me. Um, since starting tea, I've noticed that my mustache comes in a lot faster, and so does my facial hair here. Like, here, it's very, very obvious, and then it goes a little bit this way, and then it's gone, and now it's, like, baby hair. So it's like the peach fuzz, and then it's back again here. Um, so it's very, it comes in pretty nicely. And it's also coming under here. And I have to shave like every week. So on to acne, our lovely, lovely friend. Um, my acne had actually just started to finally clear up right before I started tea. Finally. It had started to clear up and then I started and it came back and I was just like well fuck you um I definitely noticed a difference in where it is though um pretty I would always get it on my nose and up here or here and then my nose was like the main place that I would get them but ever since starting I noticed it's mostly ironically along where my facial hair is coming in so like it's really bad here and it goes up this way i can literally feel it all along my jawline all along the jawline and there's even like two or three under here and then like there's a couple in my cheeks because i'm trying to get rid of it all and by doing the cheeks that's now they're coming up so yeah as for my voice it's changed significantly i think i've definitely noticed a lot more confidence in it i can make my voice go in different ways like i can make it go a lot higher Ooh. Not apparently not right now. Um, I can make it like talk from down here more, but that's really kind of uncomfortable and kind of monotone. I'm like half doing it right now. If I was actually, if I actually wasn't trying, I could be talking up here and I can talk more like at this level. And typically, I think that's what I've been doing a lot over break is I've been talking more up here. And yeah, I've been doing a lot of talking up here. But then I can really drop it down a little bit if I actually take a second and just let it slip down, I guess is a way to describe it. So like that's what I've noticed. I've also noticed my singing voice is definitely changing. Um, Preeti, I absolutely hate hearing my singing voice. Um, so there's only like a couple videos of it and they're on my phone or on my laptop. But I don't know if I'll ever post them. And then I think there's a couple of videos from recently where I actually started to really like my singing voice. And also recently I tried to singing Cheater Cheater Best Friend Eater by Never Shot Never. If you don't know what that is, that's really unfortunate and you should really know it. Um, anyway, I could do that song really, really well. I, I guess. But like there's the really high notes in a few parts and uh, December break, when I was driving home, I had my friend put it on because I can sing it like this, and I was, like, freaking going for it, and I was hitting those high notes. It was great. Um, and about a week ago, I tried to do it again, and I couldn't hit the high notes. I would go for them, and then my voice would crackle, and I'd be like... And it was actually really funny, because I just started laughing, absolutely laughing at it. Um, so I'm probably hitting the point where I can't really sing right now but I keep trying to to work my voice up to getting used to where it's at and hopefully in the future I'll still be able to sing. I'm very very determined to maintain my singing voice now. So I believe that is everything and which case if you have any comments, questions, suggestions for future videos of any kind, 
anything of that sort, leave it down below, or you can reach me on any of those social medias linked, linked below also. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty reachable. I'm literally always on the internet. I will always answer you. I'm always thrilled to talk to new people. And that's pretty much everything I got for you. So on that note, get some like, scrunch that up. Checklist done, everybody. Okay, yep, everything is sorted. That is everything I got for you all. Hopefully I'll edit this and get it up soon. Everything and then, okay. I don't remember how I signed off my videos. I believe that is everything, so I shall see y'all soonish. So yeah, ba 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 ba